I do have a very different setup today. I'm filming on my phone as my camera is having some technical dif uh, difficulties. But I know it's been a while since I've done a video, so I really wanted to come and tell another crime story that is actually pretty recent in the news. So this is actually the murder of a couple from the Markham area. So Markham is very close, just outside of the GTA, if you're unfamiliar with the area. So this is the story of the murder of Christy Nguyen, who is 25 years old, and her partner Kwok Tran, who is 37 years old. Now, unfortunately, this couple went missing on September 18th, reported to be seen around 5.30, and unfortunately, they would never be seen again. So I chose to cover this story today because it's currently unfolding in the news and I know last week all the buzz was about Abby Petito and I was really tempted to cover her story um, because it is such a terrible story and it was really un unfolding right in front of our eyes but I was actually sick that week so I didn't get the chance. I know there's a bunch of videos um, out there covering her story, but I really wanted to focus on a local stories. You know, I was online trying to find a little bit more personal information about the couple. I do know that Kwok Tran ran a garden supply business. So this couple was last seen on Saturday, September 18th and was reported missing by their family on September 21st. So that would be three days after they were last seen. Their family found it very odd that they had not heard from the couple, and it was very unlike them to not, you know, be in contact with family or any of their friends. So on Saturday, September 18th, the couple were actually at this industrial mall at um, 111 Zenway Boulevard in Vaughan. It is reported that the couple was targeted here and that they were both murdered here inside this building. On September 28th, this is about 10 days after the couple was last seen alive, the York Regional Homicide Unit put out a report that the couple had been missing and that they were believed to be involved in a target attack in that Vaughn area and for anyone to contact them if they had any tips. The investigators also put out pictures of this truck that they believe was related to the murder or at the time the disappearance of the couple and they urged the public if they seen this vehicle around the same time of the couple disappearance to call the police immediately. On Friday, October 1st, police announced that a body had been found at Twin Creeks Landfill and Environmental Centre in Watford, Ontario. This is about 250 kilometers outside of Toronto. So whoever from Vaughan to Watford, someone had driven a long way to dispose of the bodies. Now at the time of this report, this is from CP24. I We don't know whose body this belongs to, whether it's Christy or Kwok. The police were confident that its second body was most likely in the same area. Through public tips, the police were able to locate the truck and its owner and were able to lay charges against 36-year-old Ricardo Liebert of Vaughan. He was charged with two counts of accessory after the fact of murder. He's currently in custody and is expected to make his next court appearance on October 14th. The police released a second person of interest in this crime, and I was unable to find how they were able to identify this suspect, but there has been a Canada-wide warrant as this suspect has not been found yet, as he's believed to be on the run from police. His name is Fong Tong Nguyen, and although he shares the same last name as um, Christy Nguyen, the victim, there is no relation whatsoever. So Nguyen, who also goes by the name of Mike, is wanted for two charges of first-degree murder and is considered armed and dangerous. Police encourage Nguyen to turn himself in and get himself a lawyer, but as of today, I am recording this on October 4th, uh, Nguyen has not been turned in by police and still remains on the run. Now, I don't know for sure if Nguyen uh, was sold out by his partner Ricardo if he now when I first heard of this uh, of the disappearance first I thought maybe that it was um, wrong place wrong time but it seemed like they were targeted so I couldn't find anything online to see how or why this happened I don't know could they have been involved in something or like a business deal gone wrong like I'm not necessarily alluding that they were involved in anything illegal by any means 
but maybe they were showing up there on a promise of, uh, you know, some sort of business and they were targeted. I truly hope that Nguyen will be found and the families can have some type of closure and be um, served justice, even though nothing can really bring them back aside from these horrible murders. I think it's still important as the public that we call in tips and if we see something, we report it because you never know what it could do in the long run. But lastly, I do want to know what you guys think of this story, if you're following it in the news, if you have any you know, feelings about it, what you think could have happened. You know, it is a terrible story. And again, terrible for the families. This was a very young couple that did not deserve, deserve to die this way. So let me know what you think. Uh, I love when we start up a conversation in the comments. Again, everything I found was from credible sources such as CTV News, Toronto Star, and CP24. Um, again, if I missed anything, please let me know and share your thoughts. And until next time, I'll have a way better setup, but I really wanted to do a video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.